You know what, we human beings have a problem. Out of many problems, there is one more, and this is self-created one. We always expect ease from life. We have this amazing fantasy about life. This is how things should work. This is my plan, it should go as per my plan. If that doesn't happen, we give up. So my dear friends, let me tell you one thing. I never wanted to be on the wheelchair. Never thought of being on the wheelchair. I was always aspiring to do bigger things, but had no idea that for that I have to pay the price to be where I am today. It's a very heavy price. This life is a test and a trial, and tests are trials, are never supposed to be easy. So when you are expecting ease from life, and life gives you lemons, then you make the lemonade, and then do not blame life for that, because you were expecting ease from a trial. Trials make you a stronger, better person. Life is a trial. Every time you realize that. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. Everything is okay, but giving up should not be an option. They always say that failure is not an option. Failure should be an option because when you fail, you get up and then you fail and then you get up and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. <laughs> failure is an option, should be an option, but giving up is not, never. We have this thing in minds, we call it perfection. We want everything perfect. We want ourselves to be perfect. There is this image in our head about everything. Perfect life, perfect relationships, perfect career, perfect amount of money that we need to earn no matter what. Nothing is perfect in this world. We all are perfectly imperfect, and that is perfectly all right. That's all right. You were, we were sent here not to become the perfect people. Those people who tell you how to look perfect, even those people are imperfect. Trying to fight this fear of looking imperfect. I used to be perfect. I still remember. I got this compliment years ago when I used to walk. Oh my God, look at you. You're fair, you're tall, you're perfect. Look at me now. You're still perfect. <laughs> Only the perfect eyes can see that. Only the perfect eyes will see that. Only the perfect eyes will see that. So yes, in all those imperfections, you have to listen to your heart. You don't have to look good for people. You don't have to be perfect just because other people want you to, to be perfect. If your soul is perfect from within, that's all right. This is all what you want. This is all what you need to be. Our society has made very weird, very weird kind of norms to look perfect and great. For men, it's different. For women, it's different. We think too much about what people say. We, th we listen to ourselves too little. You know what makes you perfect? When you make someone smile. You know what makes you perfect? When you try to do something good for the people around you. You know what makes you perfect? When you feel someone's pain. And how beautiful pain is that it connects you with people. No other medium can connect you with others but pain. That's why I always say that I'm in pain and that's a blessing in disguise for me. Today, just because I'm in pain and I'm on the wheelchair, I work for children. Being the head of CSR for a company, we conduct medical camps in far-flung areas of Pakistan where so many kids die because they don't have medical facilities. And I personally believe just because they cannot afford to live doesn't mean we let them die. So we give them money, we give them medical treatment, we try to heal their wounds, physical and emotional. And I also work for 
the beautiful people. We call them third gender. The transgender community of Pakistan. You know what connects me with them? All my imperfections. When I go and I hug them, they never judge me. And this very good friend of mine, her name is Bijli. Bijli means electricity. <laughs> she calls herself electricity. And I said, are you electricity? She says, no, I'm lightning. I'm as strong as lightning. <laughs> because, we have, because we have very bad power outage, so she doesn't want me to call her electricity. So she says, I am very strong. I'm thunder, I'm lightning. She came to me, and the first time I hugged her, she said, you are just like me. And I said, yes, I am like you. Because to people, we are so imperfect. So how beautiful these imperfections are, that because of these imperfections, you can connect with people. Then why are we all running after being perfect? What's the point?